In today's video, we're going to talk about the top window and door trends of 2024. Stick around. Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the window expert. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to talk to you about the trends we've seen coming up for 2024 when it comes to new windows and doors. Are you excited? I am. So let's get started. So if you look to my right here, your left, this is a beautiful window from Marvin Windows. You've probably heard of Marvin. They're terrific. And as you can see, something about this window is a little different than maybe what you've seen in the past. What is it? It's fewer grids. You notice how this just has one vertical grid on it instead of having a whole lot of busy divided lights like people have had in the past. One of the trends we see is that if people are trying to keep that look on their house, that feels a little more traditional without being over the top traditional. They're choosing what we call a transitional style window, meaning it has some of that charm and warmth of an older style window, but yet it's not so busy. It feels a little more elegant, it feels a little more refined. And that's what you see when you get a nice, simple, clean grid line. One of the trends we also see is the grid on the surface. If you notice this grid actually sits on the surface compared to a window like this one that has the grids between the glass. Now there's some benefits to having the grids between the glass because it's easier to clean, but it doesn't look as realistic. You see how beautiful and realistic this grid looks? Also, if you notice, it stands off the glass a ways. It's not just sitting on the surface, it actually is dimensional. This particular one is what we call a putty grid. Check out putty grids, they're really popular. Now, if you wanna know more about grids, I've got a link up here and down in the description about everything you'd wanna know about window grids. I think it's worth checking out before you buy some windows. Also, another thing we're seeing is dark colors are still the number one attraction in window trends. Going with a nice dark color like this, a black or a bronze, or maybe even some darker browns now we see are being introduced. They're becoming very popular. One of another common color we're seeing is not so bright white. Like a lot of vinyl windows, for example, they tend to be really bright white. Come look at this one. This one is not as bright of a white, as what you see on most vinyl. Yes, it's white and it needs to be white, but this is not Sherwin-Williams super white, right? Like that super, super bright white. And if you notice some of the lesser quality products, they add so much pigment to try to sustain the whiteness on their windows that they actually overkill it. A product like this with really high levels of titanium dioxide is going to be able to maintain a softer white for a long period of time. And that's the reason they're willing to do it. Don't get stuck with a really bright, bright white window. Another trend we're seeing too, not only in vinyl, but also in high quality, high performance aluminum is a narrow profile. If you notice here, this top profile is a little over an inch and a half wide. Well, you say, Jeff, what's the benefit to that? Well, it's an aesthetic thing. It gives you more glass. Now on a big six foot window, you probably wouldn't notice it, but on a window like this, this window is only 29 and a half inches wide. You notice that having an, a lot of glass here, this large amount of glass, is really beneficial. You're going to get more glass. And think about that little tiny window that's only this big, right, by your front door. By the time you get a typical vinyl window that's maybe three inches wide on each side, you're down to just three or four inches of glass in the middle. So going with a narrow profile also seems to be a big trend. Come this way with me. Here's another look that people are seeming to really like, and it's what we're calling hybrid projects. In other words, we might take a product like that Marvin window I showed you up front, that's a really high quality window with a wood interior, for example, and then going with a window that looks like that, but it's made out of a more affordable option, like a high performance vinyl. In this case, this is the Windsor Classic Series. It has that same standoff grid like I showed to you on that Marvin window, but it's gonna come in at about half the price. Saving money is a trend for 2024. By the way, the biggest trend for 2024 is this. Ready? Write this down. Interest rates are so high, we decided not to buy a new house. We decided not to move. We're gonna stay here, keep this house, and fix it up. So, a lot of my customers are telling me that. Maybe you're thinking about that too. Maybe you should be considering new windows. Okay, let's go look over here. One of the trends we're also seeing is big doors. If you notice this door here, made by Western, is 11 feet tall on one single pane of glass. It uses incredible roller system so that it's effortless and it slides and glides like a dream. And yet you've got really narrow profiles so that you get more glass. Bifolding doors, those accordion doors, were popular a few years back. 
We're seeing those go away because they steal so much of your glass space. People are more inclined to want narrower frames and more glass. Keep that in mind. And then the last trend I'm seeing, and I, this is something maybe I even started because I talk about it so much, is uh, not overkilling on the energy efficiency. People tend to think that the most important part of a window is energy efficiency. And yes, it is a very important part of the window, but you can overkill it. Let me give you an example. If you went and uh, bought new tires for your high performance Ferrari, and they said to you, 32 pounds per square inch is the right temperature for your tire, you wouldn't say, well, if 32 PSI is great, maybe I should go to 64, it'd be twice as great. No, it'd be horrible. It'd wear out the tires, it'd be hard on the suspension, your performance wouldn't be good, and it's not the right call for what you need. I've seen window salesmen who focus so much on selling energy that people are buying windows just based on what the sticker says for energy, and they overkill it. If you live in an area where you have a lot of direct sunlight and it's gonna be baking on your house all day, yes, get the strongest energy component glass you can get. But if not, if you have, uh, say, overhangs that come out quite a ways on your house, you have a neighbor house that's blocking the sun, you have tall trees around your house, maybe you should consider going with a softer glass package that doesn't do so much on the energy component. And you'd say, well, why, Jeff? Why would I wanna do that? Because you're losing a lot of light the more coatings you put on the glass, the more light you're losing coming into the house. So I recommend that people get enough coatings to do the job, but don't overkill it. I'm gonna give you an example of that. Here we have two different glass packages, okay? This one has two coats of low E. Instead of three, this one has three. And you can see that if I put it on there, I wish you could feel what I feel because I feel nothing, okay? And I'm gonna take my little uh, infrared thermometer here and I can tell you that that says 70 degrees, 70.00, okay? If I take this one and I put it on there and do the same comparison, you'll see that I'm gonna save a little bit of temperature. I'm gonna be at 68.6, 68.4. That is a very, very small reduction for how much light I lose. This one allows 70% of the light to come in. This one allows 66%. You say, Jeff, I don't know, do I get it? Does it matter? Well, from the street, right? Because we're talking about trends for 2024. From the street, you can notice a difference. I'm gonna hold it up just so you can see the difference in the two. I want you to see how much darker the left side one is than the right side one. And it's got more of a green hue to it. You see how it's kind of greenish looking? I know the camera may not do it justice, but this one's got a lot more green look to it. And this has a softer gray look. It depends on what you're after. But if curb appeal, if appearance is important to you, and that's a big trend for 2024, you might talk to your representative about doing two coats of low E instead of three. Okay, so those are the top things for 2024. If you're looking for a great window company near you, check out my website, thewindowexperts.com. If you live in Houston, which is where I am, please drop into our beautiful showroom. I'd like to show you around. I'd like to meet you and talk to you about your project. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. We'll talk to you again real soon.